everyone. Welcome to St. Joseph's Academy Video Learning Classes. This video is for class 2. Subject English Mulberry Chapter 6 Topic The Mice and the Elephants Part 3 so children, in this video class, we will do exercise work given in your Mulberry book. Children, I read to wish Ramola, your English teacher. Hope you all are good and safe at your home. Children, let's do exercise work, page number 76 to 81. Children, let's see page number 76, word wall, opposites. Question number 1, find Opposites of these words. So here first word is enormous. Enormous means very big. So opposite of enormous is tiny. Next is up. So opposite of up is down. Next is given. Caught. So, opposite of caught is freed. Next number four is given remembered. So, opposite of remembered is forgot. Next number five is given word best. So, opposite of best is worst. Children, let's do making new words. Question number one. Use the picture cues to make words out of the letters of the word elephant. So here, first is given. Here is the picture of battle. So we will write P-E-T-A-L, battle. Next number 2 is given the picture of plate. So we will write the spelling of plate. P-L-A-T-E plate. Let's see number 3rd. Here is given picture of pehen. So write down the spelling of pehen is P-E-A-H-E-N pehen. Next number 4, given picture, plain. So write down the spelling of plain, P-L-A-N-E. Let's see picture number 5. So number 5 picture is plant. So we will write P-L-A-N-T, plant. Next, here is the picture of banana peel. So, we will write P-E-E-L, peel. Next, number 7th given picture, heel. H-E-E-L, heel. Next, number 8 is given picture of tape. So, we will write... Spelling of tape. T-A-P-E. Tape. Children, let's do grammar time. Has, have. Children, let's see page number 7777. Let's learn has, have. 
Read these sentences. An elephant has a huge trunk. Mice have sharp teeth. So children in the sentences given above has and have are used to show position. Let us learn how to use the word has and have. So children, we use has for one person or animal. Like, Annie has a dog. In this first picture, Annie is singular and Annie has a dog. So with the Annie, we will write has. See the next sentence. We use have for more than one person or animal. So here, Tom and Annie have a dog. Here, Tom and Annie are two. So we will write have with plural subject. Next, see the third. We also use have with I and you. So children with I subject and you we will write have. I have a dog. You have a dog. Now children use this table to practice saying sentences with have and has. Only read and practice. So children, here in the first column we have subject I, you. So with the I and you, we will write have. Next is given subjects. Tom and Annie, Grandma and Grandpa, my friends and we. So all these subjects are plural. With the plural we will write have. Next here given subjects Tom, any, he, she, the dog. All here subjects given singular. So, we will write has with the singular subject. So, children, let's do exercise given on page number 78. Question number 2. Look at the picture given below and fill in the blanks with has and have. Let's see the A sentence. Grandfather and grandmother have a farm. They are working on the farm. So here, grandfather and grandmother. Plural subject. So with the plural, we will write have. See the B sentence. Grandfather has a state. So here grandfather, singular subject. So with the singular we will write has. Children, let's see C sentence. Here grandmother is singular. So with the grandmother we will write has. So grandmother has a watering can. Next sentence is Grandfather and grandmother have lots of animals. Because here grandfather and grandmother plural subject. Let's see a E part. The horse has a brown tail. So here horse is singular. So with the singular subject we will write has. Let's see F part. 
the rooster has a green tail so here rooster is singular with the singular subject we will write has let's see g part the ducks have orange beak here we have written have because ducks are plural h grandfather and grandmother have two tractors so here grandfather and grandmother plural subject let's see i sentence grandfather has a red tractor so here grandfather is singular subject so with the grandfather we will write has so grandfather has a red tractor let's see the j part grandmother has a blue tractor so here grandmother singular subject with the singular subject we will write has let's see the k part i love going to the farm i have lots of fun there so children i is singular but we will write with the i subject have with the i and u we will write have let's see l sentence do you have a farm here in this we will write have because always use have with i and u children let's do question number 3 matching action words to naming words so put a tick against the sentences that are correct and put a cross against those are incorrect so here a part here we have two sentences put tick those are correct the baker bake a cake next is given the baker bakes a cake so with the baker in the first sentence verb is given bake and in the second sentence given with the bake is given bakes so baker is singular so we will write first form of the verb and s so the sentence the baker bakes a cake is correct one and the baker bake a cake it's a wrong sentence so the baker bake a cake put cross the baker bakes a cake tick right So children let's see b part john runs fast this one is the correct one john run fast the sentence is wrong because john is singular so with the singular subject we will write first form of the verb and s or es so the jo john runs fast is the correct one let's see the c part the duck swim in the pond next is given the duck swims in the pond so here the subject is plural the duck swim in the pond this one is the correct one let's see the d part the girl plays volleyball this one is the right sentence the girl play volleyball this is wrong 
Because here the girl is singular. So we will write with the singular plays. Let's see the E part. The cat sleep on the mat. This one is the right sentence. The cat sleeps on the mat. This one is the wrong sentence. So children, after the mice help the elephants, the elephants brought lot of things for them. So put the list of things in alphabetical order. So here we have option nuts, corns, bananas, rice, oats, figs, pears, wheat. So children write down all these words in correct alphabetical order. So here we will write number one bananas. Because banana is added with the B letter. Let's see next word is corn. Number three is figs. Number four nuts. Number five oats. Number six pears. Number 7, rice. And number 8, wheat. So children, we are writing all these words according to the alphabetical order. Children, let's write well filling in a chart. Question number 1. What can elephants do? What do elephants have? What are elephants like? Think about the answers to the questions. Fill the chart with your ideas. Then use your ideas to complete the paragraph on the elephant. So children, elephant can swim, run and lift heavy things. Children, elephants have tusk, elephants have trunk, elephants have big ears. So children, let's see next. Elephants are green color, lazy and friendly. Children, let's write paragraph. Elephants can swim. They can also run and lift heavy loads. Elephants have a long trunk and big ears. Elephants are lazy but can be great friends to humans. Children, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now homework time. Read aloud story. Revise all the work done in class. We'll meet in the next video class. Till then, bye-bye.